We in the kitchen, man. You know what I mean? Get your order in right now because we're about to sell out. Welcome to another episode of Ease for Meach. You know what we're doing, we're cooking. And the other reason you're gonna be here, we're gonna make some uh, some fried salmon bites with a hot honey glaze on top of that bitch. To accompany it, you know you need some greens, some broccoli. I ain't feel like making asparagus. Make it piss off, stinky and shit. We got some, some short grain rice, you know what I mean? I keep it in here, cause I organize my things. You know what I mean? I'm the most organized man I know. A cube of salmon up. Cut the broccoli up, get them both into like a nice little like, so you don't, sometimes you don't know if you touching the broccoli, you touching the salmon, we want them around the same size. Then you get some rice on top of the salmon, it's gonna be fucking, it's gonna be real sexual. Not exactly like sure if y'all know this about me, but I don't fucking like fish. I eat the shit, but when it's raw and it smells like a fish, ain't nobody ever said, man, that nigga smelling a little fishy today. And that was a compliment. That's why when you go to a fish fry, you just go home, burn them clothes. Shit stinks, bro. Look how they massacred my boy. That's a step I, I didn't include. We're gonna have to de-skin this motherfucker, which I believe is just peeling. I, I'm not exactly sure, so we're gonna find out. Oh, yeah, it's just peeling that motherfucker. God damn, a little bit, a little bit ready. This shit's soft in a motherfucker. I ain't never seen a skin peel off that easy before. Is that good or bad? That's good. Oh. Usually, some people like the skin, though, because they got nutrients in it. Nigga, I don't know. <laughs> the little motherfucker stank, nigga. That's what. <laughs> Tell me about him. What does mama do for a living? Like this smells way worse than than, than shrimp. It's, it's actually it's not bothering me, but I can't wait to get doggy bone lathered up. You know, like in uh, the blind side when Sandra Bullock took dog home, gave him some new clothes. Yeah, that's what I'm about to do. This shit ain't got no backbone. You know, I don't know what a salmon looks like. Look it up. I'm not. Oh, look it up. <laughs> no, I'm not. Look it up. What the fuck is that? Exactly. No, nah, that's Sock out salmon. Crazy. No, nah, that's nuts. Now I don't want nothing to do with these. <laughs> this all on y'all tonight. We're over here peeling this skin back, man. A little foreskin. Now if you watching this and you like, he ain't peeling this shit right. Bitch, I ain't never did this before. I should've got this bitch pre-peeled. God damn, this shit is annoying. Ugh, I got some of the fucking salmon on my stove. Ugh. Ah, I don't feel good. We'll cut these bitches up. A little cute. That bitch cut like butter, I ain't gonna lie. I, I ain't gonna lie, that bitch cut like butter. That little bitch cut like butter, man. You hear the way it sounds? I like when it hit the wood. Come on, bro. Little bite-sized pieces, man. Little bite-sized pieces. We're gonna cut them up. Then I'm gonna wash them just because I'm not familiar with... Damn, this little bitch got the skin on it, too. I'm not familiar with the uh, salmon, so I don't know if I need, if the skin being on it kind of matters. I, it just looks like there's residue, so I just want to make sure it's all good and edible. As you can see, I'm avoiding using my free hand because I don't want this fucking smell to follow me home. Go wash these little bitches off, man. Whenever I'm washing something, I try to use cold water. I don't know if that matters, but I, I, sometimes... So one, one time somebody told me to use hot water to watch something, it start the cooking process. And it make a lot of fucking sense to me, so. Do whatever the fuck you want, I ain't gonna lie. God damn, these niggas wanna be away. They wanna go to the sea. So we about to make a wet batter. It's basically just like, some type of flour. I already got like a pre-purchased fry mix. I'm about to season this hoe. And we're gonna throw salmon bites into the wet batter. We're gonna throw the salmon bites into some flour and we're gonna throw them into the grease. Garlic powder. I don't ever feel like you can have enough garlic powder. Lemon pepper. I'm a nigga, what can I say? We got some smoked paprika. Spanish paprika, you feel me? Throw that in there. Salmon loves some smoked paprika. I'm gonna cook salmon twice in my life. So if anything I say sound like it ain't, <laughs> It ain't proven or effecting, cause it's probably not. 
onion powder, Kroger brand to be exact. Cayenne in there. Cause everything else we're gonna throw in later, gonna just sweeten it up. So we need that little kick for the hot part of the honey. I got some Dano's seasoning. I ain't never used it before, so it's no time like the present. Dark chili powder. Again, we're going for that spicy feel. Some marjoram, you feel me? Shout out to the mandem, you know? I'm really just specific, specifically speaking to the four YE brothers and Sheldon and Sebastian. And then we're gonna put some uh, coarse sea salt in there. Now brown sugar pack a punch, you feel me? So don't be too, don't put too much of that shit in there, bro. And then we're gonna go with the Drake's crispy cheese in there. Fry mix. We're gonna add all our dry ingredients, then mix it. Add some water. That's the end of our dry ingredients. About to mix this bitch up a little bit. Let's try to break down some of that brown sugar. You know, it be sounding like I know what I'm doing. This is my first time doing this. I ain't never made no wet, no wet batter, brother. So if you feel like I'm doing it well, then I mean you can too. See how the, the brown sugar are clumpy. We don't want that clumpy shit. We're gonna put the water in and we're gonna whisk while we doing it. Make sure you're getting all the corners. We have our last special guest, the man with the pizza. All right, so we making a hot honey salmon bites with some broccoli and rice. So I, I just got you in the kitchen to see what I'm doing. Dog, first of all, this I remember looking at the thing and it just said salmon bites. <laughs> you put together the whole, oh my gosh, this is about to be amazing. So we got these joints. I'm about to uh, pour this water out real quick. Sure. That's what I was gonna do. That's what I was thinking. Look, I, I, you the insta chef. I'm just a nigga with a with a camera. No, uh, no, you are not. No, <laughs> you are not. Listen, before all this, this man. First of all, I already knew you were valid. Saw how you cook chicken. Saw your mac and cheese. Saw a myriad of dishes you made. I already know. No, I know. I know. He don't play. So what I'm trying to do is just be an assistant. Any way I can help, I'm there. We in the kitchen, man. You know what I mean? Get your order in right now, cause we about to sell out. So how you start cooking? Man. You my first guest. I'm my first guest in the kitchen. Oh, this is what it, oh, that was always cooking. I was the only child. Um, Are you the only child now? Yeah, okay. only child. Mother had long hours working, so I was always in the crib by myself. From there, it was just, okay, I'm hungry. My mother's not home. I gotta put something together because mm. I gotta eat. So from there it became that. And then it also became being able to have access to cable and watching Emerald Live back in the day. That's a throwback. Bam! Yeah! yeah. Oh! Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay! Once you in the house, nigga, Sukasa, Mikasa. For sure. Wait. Mikasa, Sukasa. Yeah, yeah, I called your whole mind. I took it. <laughs> uh, but we got the wet batter. The wet batter, we need to get this flour. I have a rule of thumb with cooking that is, it could be as dangerous as possible. My mama told me to do it. Who am I? I'm, I'm a mere mortal. This is a big ass bag of flour. I think we got this bitch from Costco. Hell yeah. God damn. This one of the ones they bake cakes with. Just smother them bitches up. Lather is more so the word. As you can see, lathered up. Then we're gonna just throw them little bitches in there, in the, in the, in the flour. What's your favorite form of cooking? I'll probably say bacon just because that's, I'm, I'm more familiar with the oven than the, uh, I'm more familiar with the oven than certain elements of the stove, like frying. You don't fry? Not as much. Damn. Not as much. And Bud was trying to get me to fry chicken for years. Now I can't. But that's one of, that's probably the newest thing that I, that I know that I can do. So what was the first thing you learned how to cook? Ramen. Same. Ramen. Same. Like, Same. <laughs> like putting putting the egg and American cheese in the ramen. I don't know about all that one, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, that's all. I used to just come butter. I just started eating eggs. But that's still fire. But yeah, I was putting, you said you just started eating eggs? Yeah. I thought you was going to skate past that. What the fuck I'm about to do with these? Some shit y'all ain't never experienced before. <laughs>
Talk to him. It's some new <laughs> shit, bro. Special recipe, man. It's been passed down for somebody's mama. I ate that shit one time, man. And I said, what the fuck did he do when he was eating? He bought broccoli like it was the main thing. Like, we was about to watch it. We about to watch before you. We was drunk. And he was drunk. acting like, you know how you go to the movies and eat popcorn? He was acting like this was like the perfect combination to the fucking movie. And I'm like, why the fuck is broccoli so important? But it was. It was really important. It was different. Popcorn, <laughs> no, that shit was different, bro. Yeah. You know, you had asked me when I started cooking. I just wanted to put the question back to you. When did uh, when did you start cooking? Shit, I've been cooking as long as I can remember, honestly. Cause opposite of you, I'm the youngest of four. Like I'm the fourth child. Yeah. Out of my mom's household, and it was like, all right, the parents go to work. Then the oldest brother becomes like the the leader of the, of the pack. And he was not trying to get do the shit I needed him to do. I'm seven years old type shit. And say like, oh, you want some more noodles? Cool. That's how you do it. Throw them bitches on the stove. <laughs> Take about three minutes, time it if you want. But I want to say like the first thing I learned how to do on my own that was food, I used to like eat a lot of hot dogs. Okay. So I'd cut them up before I throw them in, there, in the microwave. Microwave? Yeah, I used to microwave okay. them. Just cut them up before I throw them in the microwave. Throw them in there about 30 seconds. If you got them too close together, they're gonna burn. Yep. The edge is gonna burn. I don't want no burnt edges. Take them out the microwave. Probably two hot dogs or so. Cut up. Mustard on them bitches. Eat them with a fork. It went, it went from like ramen noodles to, like my brother used to always just throw some grease on and make some, uh, some french fries up to like the Walmart bag. So then as I started learning how to fry stuff, that was early you were from. Yeah, like, I was like probably 11, 10. So the only, the only, the only fish you prepared is salmon? Uh, and I make, I make Cajun shrimp. Okay. Like a Cajun boil, uh, fried Cajun. I mean fried shrimp. Yeah, that's the only shrimp, but that's the only fish I've prepared before. Okay. But I just started eating, oh, I made lobster, like in the oven. Okay. Like taking it out, putting the meat on top of the, the shell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what caused the hate for fish? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I just didn't grow up eating it because my, my, most of my family is allergic to shellfish. And so like, now I eat shellfish. Like now I eat, I don't like shrimp because it, it, it's too crunchy. Like, I don't like, I don't, it made me feel like I'm eating something that it was a living thing at some point. Fried shrimp or just shrimp? Shrimp in general, general. yeah. Crunchy? Yeah. Okay. And Actually. yeah, like, the, I'd, be, I'd be like, damn, it's a membrane. Them crab legs, I can't do it without the crab legs. I fuck with the crab legs, heavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lobster, lobster, yeah. lobster claw. Yeah. Give me a little lobster claw, that motherfucker smack. I nigga it up, I throw it in the butter. And I, I throw the lemon on it first. Let the lemon marinate. Throw it in the melted butter, Tabasco. Uh, we about to make the hot honey sauce. So we got the, we got the red hot, Frank red hot, obviously. Pull that bitch in there. That shit scared the hell out of me. Honey, of course. We already melted the butter. Oh, it ain't no top on this bitch, all right. No, this was open. This see, see, see. Okay. It's the Midwest, honey. Three Detroit hats on it. If I do anything, that ain't from here. <laughs> and they all different. We came a long way. Well, I'm gonna let y'all know something that I ain't wanna let y'all know. Tomorrow, how much time you got on your hands? All right, cause that rice cooker broke. <laughs> so, salmon bites is done. We threw a little parsley on there. A little, a little ghetto garnish. What can I say? The hot honey sauce is just hot honey and butter. I don't know what else to tell you. I really, it's hot sauce, honey, and butter, brother. We're gonna throw some brown sugar in here. Just to level it out. Give it a little stickiness to it. I'm about to saute these broccoli, man. I'm gonna show y'all how to get it started. I can't show y'all too much more, so I, too much more else. I know it's a cooking show, but I'm a gatekeeper. What can I say? I gave you everything fucking else. What else you want from me? My watch? Uh, next Friday, Friday at the next. The other one, don't, we don't even talk about it. it it's an ancestor. That shit is not good. They made it with $3,000. They made it with $3,000. Worse one. I talk about off comedy. No. Yes. Yep. Friday, is, Friday at the Knicks is Friday hilarious. Is it's fucking bad. hilarious. Are y'all buggy? Y'all buggy. Next Friday is number one though. Yeah, I love the original. I just feel like Friday at the Knicks is so corny and extra. You got Cat Williams. You got Terry Crews. You got. 
This is this this shit made them niggas careers. Everybody you named, it made their career. Like, I think I also grew up watching Friday too much. Okay. I know every plot point. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, okay. Stop like <laughs> That's the only thing that was that shit was baby boy for baby boy, nigga. BET was running that shit back every time, nigga. Syndicated. Alright, I'm Demetrius Harmon. We got these these salmon bites. I'm gonna let the guest judges try them with photo sauce on it. I wanna, I wanna know how you're the crunch. It's good, man. It's not like, it's not you eat catfish and be like slimy. Ain't no slime. I like it, man. Nice and crispy. Nice and crispy. No, you, you gravy. I think this is cool. Um, the texture isn't kind of like what Aitam said, isn't slimy or anything like that. Like, it's solid. I think the coating and the seasoning of like, the batter is good. I wish it was like saltier, but I think the salt or the sauce might add more kick to it, add more flavor to it for sure. They uh they, they said everything. They said everything. For me, the wet batter was key. I think that um, utilizing that and not over seasoning it makes it so that when you add the hot honey on it, it's gonna it's gonna take it to the next level. Oh, a little bit of spillage. Fish a little. Thanks, sir. When this can I don't know. You gonna eat this fucking food. Damn. You're a judge. I know, I didn't know that much, man. You full of liquor? Yes, bro. I have like three of them. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have Cliff, LT, Calvin, Atom. What the fuck is LT? What is that? Damn, you like the LT? Dude, all right, oh, God. all right. And we got the salmon bites with the broccoli and the rice. A little bowl, put it together for my guys. They're gonna be honest. I trust them to be truthful. Dig in. The mic is here. Originally, without the, the sauce, I was like, it needs something like flavorful. Like, I mean, it was plain, of course, but the seasoning wasn't at its highest level. But the sauce really just balanced it out and just gave it a whole different flair. You know, like jeans and their flair jeans, like it's different. <laughs> so now they're wearing flair jeans. Yeah. And the broccoli, we, we don't even speak about the broccoli. So, first thing I tried was the broccoli. You know, it was kind of it was kind of slapping a little bit. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, it was slapping. It's slapping. I don't know what you put on it. He won't tell us what you put on it. But whatever it is, keep doing that. Keep doing that. And then with the uh, the bites, the sauce that you added to it was really good. It added just more to like before us. He said it was just. A little bite at first, you know, you can taste like it's kind of crunchy. It's not necessarily as crunchy anymore, but it's a lot more flavorful. So I'm so full right now, but I'm forcing myself to keep eating it because it's so good. It's like, huh? I was just full, bro. All them drinks oh, I had. So them drinks, I made drinks. I made all the little red cups, I made drinks for everybody. So that kind of filled me up. But it's so good, man. The broccoli has a great, great taste. You know, I was worried when he was putting the sauce on the salmon. I'm like, this is gonna make the salmon soggy, but it's, it's, it turned perfect. I ain't never had fried salmon like this. And I feel like once I ate it, it was like levels of flavor that I tasted. So it, it was, a, it got a little different as, as I got to the end, but it, 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 was, it was amazing. And I'm about to, about to finish smashing this after I give him the mic. First off, you having us try the salmon without the sauce was like, watching two thirds of Endgame. 
<laughs> like, it's good. It's, it's good. It's decent. But with that sauce, it's the payoff. You saw me around here trying to look for more sauce. The crazy part is that broccoli paired with the salmon is kind of like LeBron and Kyrie when they both went for 40 in the finals. Like, that's what it tastes like. That broccoli is dangerous. More niggas should make broccoli that way. <laughs> oh, you said I got a fake laugh? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, fuck you. But yeah, you know, just some niggas in the kitchen, man. If I can do it, you can too. That's the whole walk away message. This has been Meech. And you watching them niggas eat. You can't do that salmon like you should say. <laughs> I feel you on the I, I feel you on the message, but listen, there was some there was some there was some science in there that he did not discuss. You gave away some secrets with the straining. Um Bro, that salmon is incredible. And I'm so glad you're not seeing how this broccoli was made. Y'all gonna have to figure that out. We doing the big, man. <laughs> <laughs>